Hey foodies, welcome back. I made some really delicious spaghetti and meatballs. Of course, this is one of the simplest dishes ever, but if you don't make those meatballs delicious, come on, what did you really make, right? So let's get into this. Now, when it comes to meat, you can ask your butcher for specifics, but you can mix pork and beef if you want to. Just get something that's not too lean because if it's too lean it might be too dry okay and then i'm going to be adding some of my green seasoning this is a blend of onion garlic parsley scallion thyme you can use just pureed onion and basil if you want along with garlic okay i'll leave all the details down in the description and then this is some parmesan cheese grated at home i prefer to grate my own cheese all right this is going to add some tenderness and flavor. And then this, guys, this is literally some bread that I had in the fridge. I just grated it. So this is not the store-bought um, breadcrumbs that's super dry. This is regular bread. It was in the freezer. I just grated it. And that's it. Then I'm going to go in with some garlic powder. Okay, even though there's garlic in the green seasoning. Still, I like to have a lot of garlic my Italian dishes especially anything like this so I'm adding some onion powder here all right add as much as you want and then I'll go in with some freshly ground pepper we're gonna add some dry oregano and we'll add some dry basil as well you can add a little rosemary too if you have that Alright, after the basil, let's put in some salt, okay, sprinkle that in there, and then we will just give this a little mix. You can mix it with your clean hands, or your gloves on, or you could use a spoon or fork, just make sure you mix all of these flavors in thoroughly, okay? And then let's add one egg. The cheese helps to bind it together, but egg also helps with that too. And then we'll go in with some heavy cream you can use some full fat milk or buttermilk if that's what you have and then we're gonna just stir everything together once this mixture is together let it sit for about you know 25 minutes or so all right just to let it relax a little bit then we will go in and scoop these out you can use tablespoons if that's what you have i'm using a little cookie scoop and i'm just gonna scoop out several balls all right and then after that i will grease my hands with olive oil and roll them Now, if you don't want to, you don't have to grease your hands, but I find that it works best for me and there's no meat coming off onto my hands when I do it this way, okay? So just roll them. And then while I was working, guys, my three-year-old, he wanted to join me, so he washed his hands and then he came into the kitchen and he actually started to help me um, to roll some of the balls. This is one of those activities that is nice for including the kids, the teenagers all right anybody who wants to help and so here's his little hand right there he's trying to help me and he did you know he he tried his best but as soon as he touched the meat he was like oh my gosh what did i get myself into so he <laughs> so there's his little hand he's trying to grab it but you know he's trying his best <laughs> So he was struggling a little bit so i you know i kind of started off this one for him and gave it back to him but um he lost his patience so <laughs> he's put it in his time his tiny hand couldn't even hold, <laughs> hold it but you know he tried right a for effort all right so i just roll these up guys and i'm doing smaller meatballs i prefer to have them like this it's really up to you but i definitely prefer to have many rather than some huge ones okay so 
I have options for you guys. So you can either line a baking tray with foil wrap and then grease it. Place the meatballs on top like this and then you're going to be baking it in the oven. So you have that option or you could do this. I have oil in a pot and then I'm just going to brown them all over. Okay, so brown them on both sides and then turn them however you can just to get all those edges brown. I tend to prefer this way because I like those little chewy crunchy bits on the outside. However, of course, the oven method is the easiest because you just put it in the oven and leave it alone. Both of them work great. All right. So what you want to do if you're going to be cooking it on the stovetop is to use a really big and wide pan or you're going to be doing it in batches. Don't overcrowd the pot. Okay. And then we'll just flip them over. I love this, that nice, beautiful little crusting going on there. Really nice. After you've cooked the meatballs on the stove top, if you choose to do it this way, you might have some little bits and pieces there in the pot. Don't throw that out. Just go ahead, add your onions, and some carrots you can cut the carrots even finer or you can leave them out i just like to add some veggies in here for flavor for nutritional value and um, a little sweetness and of course i added some garlic too guys so this is onion garlic and carrot in here you can add a little oil if you feel like the pot is too dry and then I'll just go in with my tomato sauce. This is tomato sauce I had pre-made. It was in the freezer, so I'm using it up. You can use your favorite brand or you can use homemade tomato sauce if that's what you prefer. Then I'm going to add my herbs, okay? Basil, parsley, oregano, and then I'm going to go in with dry herbs. So that was um, some dry oregano. And then I'll add garlic powder, onion powder, all right, and then the basil. So all the details are in the description box, guys. Here is some black pepper. All the details are in the description box below. The homemade sauce can be really delicious. But if you're a busy mom, I understand getting your favorite brand is perfectly fine. Just do those, those meatballs homemade. All right. They are so delicious. So I like to do this whole thing semi-homemade sometimes. So the homemade meatballs and then sometimes I'll just buy my favorite brand in tomato sauce. And then here's some Parmesan. And then I'll add a little bit of sugar just to balance this out because it's kind of, you know, acidic, that tomato, right? So just a little bit of sugar to taste. You can add some salt and more pepper um, to your liking. All right. So once the baked meatballs are done, just release them and we'll add all the meatballs to the sauce. So this is what it looks like, guys. We're just going to simmer this for a short while because the meatballs are basically cooked. They just need to absorb some flavor from the sauce and you will be good to go. All right just try to be gentle so you don't break you know the meatballs okay because some of them are a little more tender than some the ones that are cooked on the stove top have a good crusting but the oven ones they might break up easily so just simmer this for a little bit now we're going to be focusing on the pasta now you can choose whatever pasta you like okay you can use spaghetti or a spaghettini the skinnier ones i just drop it in the salted and oiled water and if you want this to be more manageable, you can break them in half. But I like to just put them in like that and then gradually push them down because the ends are getting softer, right? So it will be easy to just move these around and push them down into the water gradually. All right. Until everything is covered by water. And then just give them a good boil. You don't want them to be mushy, so do not overcook them follow the instructions on the box all right sometimes i take off a minute from what they recommend because it might be too mushy 
but just make sure they are firm to the bite, okay? Once the spaghetti is done, guys, I'll drain them in a colander and sometimes I'll toss them with a little olive oil and set them aside. And then we'll check on the meatballs in the sauce, okay? This is looking so good. It smells amazing. And then what we'll do is just pour this over the noodles. Some people like to toss everything together. So do what you like in your household, okay? You can serve it up family style like this and then everybody can serve themselves. I do like to add a sprinkling of Parmesan cheese all over and of course some fresh herbs, some parsley or basil or a mixture of them. Some fresh basil all over this is really, really nice guys. And that's it, gorgeous. And the meatballs are so delicious, flavorful and juicy guys. So give this a try and let me know what you think about my way of doing spaghetti and meatballs. I'll see you guys next time.